that's my departure out of Gainesville. And there's a look at the airport. As I'm leaving Gainesville, there's some really interesting cloud formations here. And I'm getting ready to make my turn to the south here. And I'll be picking up the uh, Ormond Beach VOR and then uh, flying a beam that. Where I'm kind of making a dive here to get underneath some of the airspace. And I'm trying to lower my altitude to under 3,000 feet. This is probably getting a lot closer to Palm Beach. And I'm going to be making my turn here at the Palm Beach Airport to head on over to the Bahamas. And there's my turn right there. Takes a lot of guts to fly across the ocean in a single engine aircraft. But as I make my approach, you can see that I'm approaching the Bahama Islands there. And I found this quite an interesting formation, a runway that jets off into the ocean. Kind of an interesting little thing here. I got a little closer look at it. That's kind of interesting. Right off into the ocean there. So this next sequence here coming up is my approach to the airport. And I had a uh, left base for runway 6. And just some sequencing in and out of the approach to the runway. It's looking pretty good. Got it all lined up. Nice and easy there. Some more in and outs here of the inside and the outside. Right down the middle. I thought this was a little flat though. I probably should have held the nose up a little bit. Kind of hits and then right down like that. Probably should have held it up a little bit. There's a long way to the taxiway there. I had a taxi almost all the way to the end of the runway to get to that taxiway. And I'm going to go find myself a parking place here. And I don't know, you may have noticed on the bottom left hand side there's a little small window there. I have a program called FS Passengers and this is my flight. I carry two passengers from Gainesville to the Bahamas and uh, drop them off and earn some credits for my virtual company that I have that I run. So that's it. Thanks for watching.